Tonight, City Hall and landmarks across the city and around the world lit in yellow in honor of Holocaust Remembrance Day. Today marks 77 years since Auschwitz concentration camp was liberated by Allied forces. Six million Jews murdered during the Holocaust. Tonight, the World Jewish Congress also launching a campaign asking people to write the words we remember on a piece of paper and share it on social media. New at 10, Rebecca Greenberg talks with a survivor of Auschwitz who discusses the importance of sharing her story so the atrocities of the Holocaust are never forgotten. When Tova Friedman was five years old, her name became a number. 27,633. I don't know my social security number, but I know this. It's the number tattooed on the inside of her left arm upon arriving at Auschwitz concentration camp. That was my name for a long time. I didn't have a name. They called a number and I had to say here. More than one million men, women and children were killed by Nazi forces at Auschwitz. This is a photo of Friedman and her mother after they made it out alive. And the woman who tattooed me said to me, you know, when you, if you get out or when you, I don't remember if or when, she said, you can get a long, a, a long sleeve shirt and you can cover it up and you won't be ashamed. Then my thought said, did she say I'll get out? Really? Well, what does she mean I'll get out? I didn't know what freedom was. I never went to school. I didn't have food. I, w I grew up just like that. that. And I thought that all Jews have to be killed. At four years old, Friedman and her parents were sent to a labor camp. Her mother was forced to sort through clothing left by Jews who had been killed and clean up their blood. Yeah, they did a very good job in, in breaking us. Uh, I always say first they, they burned our books, right? Then they, then they, then they followed, uh, uh, then they, they, they broke us psychologically. And then they uh, killed our people. Upon arriving in Auschwitz at age five, guards checked Friedman for weapons, tattooed the child, then cut off her hair. It was traumatic seeing my brace on the ground and, 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 and you know, she's completely shaven. As Nazi forces got word that the Allied powers were gaining ground, Friedman remembers the horror that broke out at the camp. They were shooting everybody they could see uh, in order to have no witnesses, but there were witnesses everywhere. Friedman lived to tell her story in part thanks to her mother, who she says helped hide her under a dead corpse to survive. She was so warm when my mother put her put me in because she had to manipulate her. She couldn't manipulate if she had been there like for a few hours, right? So she manipulated me in such a way where she covered up the corpse with a blanket. On January 27, 1945, the Soviet Red Army liberated Auschwitz. The young girl with this number tattooed on her arm grew up to see many of her dreams come true. She moved to New York, earning a degree in psychology from Brooklyn College, and now has a family of her own. Even 77 years after the liberation, she still shares the story of number 27,633. I speak as a witness for the million and a half children they were killed, murdered, right? So I speak for them and I honor their death. I don't want them to be forgotten. Remember us. Remember us. It makes me so sad, you know? Just these words, remember us. They knew they were gonna die. Those were the last words, remember us. And that's what I'm trying to do. Remember us. Rebecca Greenberg joins us now. You know, Rebecca, this is the third time you've interviewed a Holocaust survivor. I'm sure there's a lesson with every interview. What lessons did you learn this time? Well, Cheryl, Tova Friedman is actually the youngest known survivor of Auschwitz. And I was so confused when I was hearing her story because she was so young. She was four, five, six years old. And I asked her, I was like, how do you remember so much at such a young age? And she said, I didn't think I had a future. And so I needed to live firmly in the present. Yeah, and you know, she's a TikTok sensation. How many followers does she have? She has over 280,000 followers. 280,000 and she's in her mid 80s. Who does she's, it for her? Her grandson puts it together. And what's most remarkable about her TikTok is that she is able to educate 
teens, preteens, people who didn't even know that there was a Holocaust. And so she's sharing her story and helping a lot of people understand. She is an incredible woman, one of our greatest New Yorkers for sure. But you know, like World War II survivors, we're losing Holocaust survivors every single year. Talk to us about that. Yeah, well, as of now, there are approximately 350,000 Holocaust survivors left across the world. Right. And there is a huge portion of them that do live in the United States. Most of them live here in New York City. So there's about 20,000 in New York City, and the vast majority are actually in Brooklyn. Wow, you're very borough. Listen, yes. I want to thank you for uh, bringing us this story. Very emotional, very powerful. And I'm going to follow her on TikTok. Yes, she, thank you, Cheryl. She has a lot to share, and we still have a lot to learn. Definitely. Rebecca Greenberg, appreciate you.